entire inside of our house, <laughs> just the two of us. It's so fun. Not. Um, you can see behind me the color, the yellow is the old color and that putty color is, that's what the whole house is going to be painted as, something that's just really neutral. And so there's a lot to paint and we're painting the ceilings. So this girl was worn out. Okay. That's why I'm not posting a video. <laughs> But I wanted to get on and do something kind of quick and easy and fun. So we're doing some candy in the crock pot. And I know turtle candy, candies, you know, with the chocolate and the nuts and the caramel. So basically the crock pot is just going to be used to melt our chocolate down. Most of the recipes I found called for the Rolo candies. I don't have those and I'm not going to the store. Okay. And I live in the sticks. So there's, I do have these craft caramels, the ones that are wrapped. I'm going to unwrap these and put them on a parchment lined baking sheet. And once our chocolate mixture is melted, then I'm going to use the dog hacking something up in the background because it wouldn't be a uh, mostly messy video if there wasn't an animal doing something totally obnoxious. Are you okay? Good grief. I'm going to use this. <laughs> Life goes on. I'm going to use this little cookie scooper to scoop out the chocolate and then place it over each caramel. Now, I might have more chocolate than I do caramels. If that's the case, I have these heat toffee bits and I'll just stir those in with the chocolate and nut mixture and do candy like that because who wants to waste chocolate? Really pretty. I don't know if you can see them, but they're like iridescent, like glittery rainbow sprinkles. And um, they may not be Christmassy, but you know what? They're pretty and shiny, and that's what I like, and that's what I'm going to use on top of them. <laughs> so, uh, I have semi-sweet chocolate. I have half a bag of milk chocolate because I have half a bag of chopped pecans, so about four ounces or so, five ounces. And then I have the almond bark or candy coating, whatever you want to call it. I thought I had the milk chocolate one. Uh, no, I have two of these, and neither one. They're both vanilla. But you know what? It's okay. It's going to be mixed with the other chocolate. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So I'm going to throw the chocolate and the nuts into the crock pot, unwrap the caramels and put them on the cookie sheet. This is going to go on low for about an hour and a half to two and a half hours. I'm home. It's no big deal. I can come back and check on it maybe in about an hour or so and see where we're at. I actually put the slow cooker on the warm setting instead of on low because I was afraid it was going to burn. So I'm just going to stir this for a couple minutes and make sure everything is completely that white uh, almond bark in there. So I'm just going to stir it and then uh, we'll scoop it out on top of our caramels. I have them all out here. I ended up cutting each caramel in half. All right, here's our crock pot candy, our caramel turtles. Um, it turned out pretty good, I think. I mean, as far as visually. <laughs> I had some chocolate left. Um, I still had some caramels left because I cut them in half. But I didn't want to unwrap any more. So I just put in some of the, the um, toffee bits into the last bit of chocolate and did some plain without the caramel. And then I put the sprinkles on top. Anyhow, let's see what these taste like. Mm. These are really good. Yeah, I would definitely make these again. Maybe next time I'll have all of the ingredients that the recipe calls for. But see, you can make anything with what you have. No one would know that I didn't follow, follow the recipe. Not that I do anyway, but anyway, there you have it. Some easy crock pot candy. Let me know if you try this or what would you do differently? What kind of add-ins would you do? That's really good. That would be good with a cup of coffee. That's what I'm going to do right now. Thanks for watching, y'all.